this video <coughs> I uh, I'm not gonna dedicate one to my father uh, but <clears throat> it needs to be resolved crime against me through which my father and my mother were used needs to be resolved and so everything is crystal clear about what went on what goes on who does it why how and so on i pretty much already have described on my website what exactly took place just going to give you a little bit of refreshment here as the next step is going to be a police report uh, police report should have been already completed. Basically, complaint already is somewhere, somewhat more than half completed. I need to go over, finish this with them one day and send this out. There is nothing really else left for me to say in respect to my father and mother than a video I'm about to post to you. This year basically is what marked my life at home, my entire life. And at the school, I was detailed with you about what went on. Uh, there was no refuge, not at home, not in the school, from violence. More than any other was physical violence that was taking place. Uh, my father, for me to say, was just my biological father. He never was a father like father, his father. Um, he was a classic uh, MK Ultra father, and so were mother, without absolutely having any kind of feelings for me. I was a tool for them to get ahead, for them to get a job, and extremely exploitive criminal socialist federation of Yugoslavia socialist uh, basic country that aligned itself with the communism but was far more exploitive murderers than any slavery option that existed out there I mean I did not have any fucking life really I'm almost 52 and I'm wasting time on the stuff like this. With much of it, it had to do with the British royals. My father didn't have to do any of this stuff to have um, <laughs> to have. I mean, this is this is a very very strange uh, issue when it comes to half you know people in slovenia have much bigger houses than this one and much bigger properties they always have and there are smaller properties and of course there's people who are inside of apartment buildings that all depends on how many children you had it all depends on how much money you saved how you saved where you work did you work uh and foremost it depends on your parents and your grandparents because it was a socialist country people did not have so much ability to run their own businesses unless they were aligned to the people in belgrade uh, therefore if you were aligned to the communists you had ability to even open your company your private company and run your private company because it was a socialist country well the thing is that this was not a communism, it was not a socialism, it was all about who you know and the agenda, political agenda that you belong to. If you belong to the proper agenda, Belgrade, Serbia, uh, a potential was almost unlimited. With also a question mark in the end. Nothing really was definite here because everybody was stealing from everybody this is what uh, a socialism in yugoslavia was um it might come maybe a little bit 
surprising to you, stuff I'm talking about. Uh, the house which my father sold in the city to build this one here in the village was worth more money than this house. You could probably purchase maybe even, I don't know, maybe two houses for the cost of one that father sold in the city. And he took a credit, he worked all his life with mother, and this is basically where the money went to. But this isn't about what you, you know, you are to my father. My father is a very, very strange case. My father is the kind of case that you could kill everybody around him. As long as you would let him off the hook, everything will be okay. Because he doesn't give it, he never gave a fuck about anybody. He is a self eccentric, materialist, egocentric person who was foremost looking for his own interests, uh, more concerned in his own well-being than anything else. And uh, he never knew. My father had no fucking purpose in life. He didn't know even what the fuck he was good for. He had no idea what this man lived for. He lived for something but he did not know what the fuck he lived for. He lived for excitement. He loved to fish. He loved to hunt, uh, buy himself expensive stuff, make himself look important, go with the friends, interact with the people. And this was just like a perfect, perfect, on his skin, written case. Or maybe the case itself turned him into a complete idiot. I don't know. I don't have any good words I could use for my biological father, Savo Alsitz. Um, this here maybe explains better than anything else I have written so far about how at home was. Uh, well, not really, because I said I'm going to video record the whole thing. Because I want you to see the violence that went on against me on a daily basis yourself. I am going to use a bag. I'm going to use something that I'm going to demonstrate you what went on inside the house every fucking day. Every fucking day. Uh, I don't want to waste time on something that happened in the past and something to which... I have hoped and have done everything possible to avoid talking about. Uh, right now, up to up to here, it was all psychiatrist Peter Tapp's money. Yeah, up to here, I worked. Right now, the portion of the video I dedicated was dedicated. That's like entire eight minutes of hard drive to this individual. It's called psychiatrist. Peter Kops. This is it. Um, and the rest of the video, I would love to think I am dedicating to psychiatrist Peter Kops. However, the thing about it is, it's not quite like that. Um, my father did not have strength to overcome his mental instability. He got himself in a crime. He went on through life with, basically he settled for something. I was gonna finish what I started earlier. He did not have to. Even that the state, Slovenian state, began to extort, began to extort my parents. So it appeared, at least what my parents did to demonstrate me that it was people that in a first grade insisted in my face, that I need to hear that my parents have a job at Kirka Pharmaceutical Company because of me. Uh, and it was this kind of stuff that was repeated a few times. Uh, and I was even told by the teachers, by people, so that my parents would understand uh, to appreciate me and, and this kind of stuff, which... Really, um, 
is not true because if Kirka pharmaceutical definitely appeared so my father suffered a very very heavy mental clusterfuck uh, his co-workers people workers in the Kirka pharmaceutical draw who apparently what it appeared to me is they drove him crazy it's also a possibility he faked the whole thing because the one driven really crazy I was the one and to, the, to deprive your family member, such as your son, of not only exercising the right to complain, or, but to use foremost his brain, uh, you would go and you would become a hypochonder, start to talk about the chronic diseases, do all kinds of crazy shit, coughing, behave insane, claim that you are poisoned. This is what my father was doing all yelling, screaming, going red, uh, grabbing knife, put the knife under my mother's throat, run after me with a double barrel gun, uh, try to point one at me, try to choke me, a death threat with a, with a, with a boat, uh, with a paddling oar and stuff like this. This is what my childhood was. And when he started to beat me up as a child, uh, he did so till he wouldn't have a strength anymore in his arms. Um, this is chaotic, uh, violent, ultra-violent stuff you're talking about like on a daily basis, going to sleep without even knowing whether you're going to wake up tomorrow, the next day. But at his elderly age, my loving father and my loving mother exercised on behalf of my loving sister, Bizarre House is the last criminal, the most criminal option possible. Uh, a using a niece, uh, Urshka Golob Weber, and her husband, um, Mitya Weber. Uh, these people went ahead uh, to. threatened her and how they're going to hospitalize me because I don't have a job and stuff like this and I'm not paying bills. Uh, then, literally, my sister was the one who terrorized with that stuff during MKUltra. Uh, started to press more and more my father and my mother to get me hospitalized, to file criminal charges against me. Uh, it was a psychiatric hospital in Ljubljana, Polje. No, Mr. Police Department. It was all in agreement, Slovenian state, all coordinated, and they did so uh, in year 2013. I think it was, uh, how old the hell I was in 2013? Uh, well, about 41 years old. I thought that the whole world collapsed completely down when I was labeled as a paranoid schizophrenic, thrown behind the walls of a psychiatric hospital in a really, really violent ways so they hope they would even video record me how i resist or something like this shackled actually uh see I, very very inhumane procedure for somebody who even complied with it uh desperate more than anything i saw this um this is my family this is basically like in a short i'm now 52 years old almost in december the nine i will be and this is what my life was like. This is what this was. So, whether my father did, whether my father feared, whether he needed to go and got himself into a uh, home for elderly people, uh, prior to home for elderly people, what is a started procedure about a year ago. Uh, through hospitalization, general hospital, normal mess of hospitalization, um, I, I do not know what the fuck was in his head. Um, he, my father would approach to me during MK Ultra. Uh, I want you to see this. My father would approach to me during MK Ultra and he would ask me to accept him. Do not reject him, to accept him, that he wants to step on my side, that he wants to join me. 
that he will try to find a way to me uh, and side with me and so on and so forth. He started with this stuff sometimes in uh, probably year was 2015. Uh, and I, I found that really bizarre because according to him alone and what it becomes more and more apparent uh, it's exactly my mother that did not want to settle for the concept. So we, I can say that my mother did force my, my father into a stroke and hospitalization with a niece, with my sister, with her husband. They definitely did. They absolutely did. My father was begging him to take him back on, his, on my side. In 2015, since 2015, during MK Ultra sessions, he did so. Um, however, he did not act in that way. A TV blasted, he went on and bully in real time and caused harm. He caused damage. He bullied, he challenged, and so it definitely did not appear so. My mother was supposedly the last one in 2013 that would agree upon my hospitalization, psychiatric hospitalization. But the real numbers, my calculation, the way I calculate everything like this, uh, on who, how, and this and that, doesn't add to this. Because she did some really nasty, disgusting stuff, uh, beginning at my very, very early age, that the whole thing, this whole family that connected itself with Belgrade and so on due to their national resistance past, World War II resistance past through my grandmother. Um, it just doesn't add up, really. Um, there was just too much other issues that contradict this type of, uh, you know, my mother was just um, extremely, extremely, extremely against my surviving this genocide. Uh, she was always on my side. She strictly was on my side. But when it came to, some, to solving the problem, she was always making damn sure she was eyeing my father like an eagle and would make sure that he would keep her mouth silent. I mean... Ultimately, during the last three years, she exercised inside the house like total Hitler uh, or Josip Broz Tito or Stalin like attitude, like dictator, like don't even think about talking to him, basically, to me, to father. That's how she, that was her conduct. Um... This is not her fault. Um, he's, a, he's a man old enough. You know, he's got a mouth. He can talk. Um, and um, he decided to proceed instead with a bitterness uh, aiding himself to the last inch millimeter within, uh, blaming it all for me without assuming absolutely responsibility of any kind for himself. He would not even, something like this, that you would mention MK Ultra, something like this, you were automatically labeled as insane, I still am. Um, by my mother. Father did not take that kind of approach anymore. He is much more cautious and he was even willing to talk about, it, but he acted like in a very awkward way, that, like he's scared to talk about this and that. Well, the thing about it is that, you know, I lost, uh, how can I say? 
Uh, I lost 49 years of my life, basically. I did not even live, you know, my life was chaotic. It was based on death threats all the time. It was, you know, it was, it was, it was 24 seven, I will kill you. If I step outside of this house, this, the, the village here, <laughs> the village here was connected to psychiatry and to my family. These people did nothing other but than to terrorize and that threatened basically in using psychiatric hospital, Ljubljana Folly, maybe foremost. I mean, uh, when you go and somebody's beating you from your age too, and he gets like an ultimate uh, superiority over you from the state by basically state labeling you as a paranoid schizophrenic is a mentally ill and even violent uh, that is just fucking uh, incredible isn't it i mean can you can you imagine this yes i can this is inside of somebody else that you uh, this is a utopia these are british royals the world of british royals is the world of blood pain and suffering so yes i can I can relate to Vladimir Putin, I can relate to the Soviets, I can relate to my life, to the people that entered my life through nightmare, and nightmare is what I re refer to as MK Ultra. so yes, 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 I can relate to, I understand where this is coming from, I accept it as a form of fight, a war against me, basically in my existence, that these people launched. So yes, I can understand, I get it. I totally understand. This is what it is. I didn't have a life and these people are saying, you're not gonna have a life, all right? You're not gonna have a life. Uh, Prince Charles, now King Charles, interpreted to me on a multitude of occasions, using also Slovenian police officers, but he personally did, Slovenian police officers, with the silicon masks inside of our house here in Slovenia. But he did personally took care of that stuff. In England, in greater than Great Britain, he took time to sit with me in front of the computer and go over issues like this. Like, for instance, what he would do, he would use this He would do this. And he would go. And he would go from one word to another. From one word to another. And would go and misinterpret. The same thing he would do with a schizophrenic. The same thing. I am a little bit... Um... It just took me here like in a very, very he would go and he would break every meaning, every meaning, every meaning, anyhow. For both of this, for the paranoid and for the schizophrenic, uh, he would always find the last one, uh, the way this is what he referred to this as upgrading itself, would always end up with a suicidal. This is how Prince Charles worked. Um, 
the way he the way he operated is he traumatized he played with these issues he would sort out this these issues like i presented you here he would sit with me in front of the computer and he would always end up with as the last in the chain we said yes which one is it it is suicidal he would use in slovenia slovenian police officers would use the silicon masks with his absolutely his permission nobody in slovenia would dare to use a silicon mask of prince charles or prince andrew or any british royal that we understand each other and would use the issues he would stress them in my face in slovenia then to remind me of in greater than great britain he bullied with his issues with a paranoid with a schizophrenic, and it always related to the end of this bullshit of his torture, trauma to the suicide. Suicide. And the end it is suicide. 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 This was the Prince Charles's formula. He exercised me for no less than 20 years. Um, very important stuff for me to stress about what exactly we are dealing with here to understand. Uh, the further step I want to stress to you in respect to my father, this is what MKUltra is. This is what my life was like, and this is what my life continues to be because of British police foremost at age 52. Now, at this time, rather than for me to complete the complaint, submit get the job done at age 52 i am struggling with a real health issues with a lot of mental issues i don't know how you would be in my situation if you would be in my situation at all but it's very difficult uh it's fun and it's entertaining and the british never look more credible to the british public than what they do now it must be maybe even good for the british economy at home maybe it's used to terrorize people in britain i have no idea what this stuff also is used for uh but it appears to me because of such a feedback i'm getting from the from the royal side that they really really like it it's a really, really good show that I put up a really, really good resistance. Uh, it's a really, really fun thing. And, you know, I'm going to put it plain and short. I am not going to be playing this game anymore. I will work to get my father, my mother, my sister, my niece, her husband, and I know the British royals are now thrilled. It's a happiness. It's a joy because that's exactly what they would want. That's how cancer, divide and conquer work in the jail. I don't have any in between anymore about what to do with these people, this and that. Uh, these people are adults. They do understand what they did. They caused enormous amount of damage and they continue to kill. They continue to eat. They continue to cause stress. Uh, they continue to cause psychological harm. They don't want to stop. They are taking the precious time away from me. And uh, it appears to me they sworn in to get me killed. They destroyed me 52 years of my life. I don't know what's left out of my life. But the best years of my life, what should have been life, are definitely destroyed. They're erased. They're decimated. I'm stressed. I, I have to tell you, people, I am I'm terribly, terribly stressed because of this stuff. This individual here started to use my father after he would cause me enormous harm with the police throughout entire Slovenia, 
it would cause upheaval, revolution between the people who would start taking their sides against, at times, one another. Uh, how much that is legit? How much that stuff is legitimate? Uh, it's actually questionable. I did read that Slovenian households have like $26 billion on a banking accounts. They save. Slovenia is one of the wealthiest countries in Europe. Uh, as per person, they are about fourth or fifth wealthiest country in Europe. And when I say so, definitely must be maybe even the wealthiest country in the Europe because the prices are much lower than in other parts of Europe, for which it is indicating that where people save more money. Uh, it appears that in Slovenia, uh, with the fourth country in Europe, or fifth country in Europe, I don't know, uh, with on average saving like 3,000 per household, uh, they, uh, it's like a money deposits on the bank, you know, um, with a much lower cost. Uh, this must be the wealthiest country in Europe. So the corruption that Slovenia catapulted itself through corruption, through criminality, through this genocide against me, uh, without absolutely any doubt, there are factories that exist because of me throughout Slovenia. Entire economy was ran through my case, through genocide against me. That's what Slovenia position. Slovenia bet everything on genocide against me and have connected itself with the rest of the world through granting a favor to the British royals, which they, they open criminal channels to other parts, to markets and so on. They propelled Slovenia forward through exactly what I stated. So. I don't know how much, what exactly went on. Uh, I do not believe anything about when it comes to MK Ultra. There was numerous, numerous in Slovenia fake deaths that were reported during MK Ultra. Uh, if any death at all was even real, if any death at all during MK Ultra was even real, uh, many tragedies were reported. Uh, no people, however, ever came forward, stressed, meet me, stress in my face, issues they suffered from, anything like this. For me, from my end, uh, I simply will refuse to believe any of that and acknowledge any of that. There is one person who suffered. That's me. I'm a hostage. I am a prisoner of Slovenian state, of Slovenian nation. Uh, that undoubtedly is a fact, and for me to play on some kind of political card, for which I actually don't even have grounds, in a country that is like maybe even the wealthiest country in entire Europe, it would be the most stupid, idiotic thing one possibly could do if he would end up losing his life. And I did because of Slovenia. When I was age two, it was a Slovenian police officer who begged me to go one more time to Belgrade. The year was 1974, and it was a President Tito that was granted presidency for the rest of his life in Federation of the Yugoslav Republics, for which, however, he had to agree Republics, every republic of this socialist Republic Yugoslavia would have equal rights, equal uh, ability to make decisions and, and that kind of stuff. Uh, so basically, issue something to protect the citizens. Slovenian police involved me in this, whatever you want to call this, I don't think I can call this MK Ultra because obviously I'm more conscious than the people that walk around conscience. We go 
back to your age too when you were drugged up and delivered to Belgrade to some other places around the world and you know how to stress the issues like this, analyze them, break them down, demonstrate them to the world, you must be fucking smarter than the people that are not drugged up. Slovenia, for what Slovenia got, and I understand there was a lot of Slovenian children that were wasted through the games in Moscow, in Belgrade, it was a lot of discrimination that went on in Yugoslavia. However, never ever returned any favor other than continue to exercise genocide against me, even upon its independence in 1991, for which I even got cancer, even got injected with a cancer at the eighth grade, at the end of the eighth grade, through Moscow, they injected me with lymphoma, with a cancer. Literally, they started to inject me in my left arm with a cancer and causing other damages, harm to my body. Um, so I remained as an invisible, uh, as a person who whom British royals have worked since its beginning with, since my age two, to be finally acknowledged at age 41, as I stated, as mentally ill, as a paranoid, as a schizophrenic, as a bullshitter, as a nobody who will eventually have to face one day a justice, the true, basically a suicide. Yeah, this is a British matrix. This is how the British royals have designed my life uh, through the individual that you see right there, who in meanwhile even became a local star. Uh, psychiatrist Peter Kapsch would start to, he became a celebrity here in Novo Mesto. He would step on a podium, grab the microphone in his hands, it would be almost like in a show in Belgrade. We have the Lepa Brenna doing her music, basically, with the local audience giving one a big round fucking applause. Uh, my friends, this is Slovenia. This is reality about the Slovenia. It is the country for which once they stated me. Uh, would become, if necessary, even part of the Russia. Yeah, this is how far it went with these people, with police. The objected, what possibly could be wrong with Russia and this and that? You know, I, I was an knowledge tortured uh, during this MK Russia and also faced with all kinds of issues, dramatic issues, toxic stuff. What would be big thing? I have stated uh, once it's going to become a Russia, if it's going to become Russia, because this is even what they threatened with. I'm going to make sure all I possibly can do in my on my end to turn you into a solar dust. The treachery, the betrayal of Slovenia toward me as a native was and is of apocalyptic proportions. It is unheard of. We had never heard for anything like this. I never heard for anything like this. I read a lot of books. But the treachery, the treason, the degree of treason of the nation itself against me is totally unprecedented. It does not stop with the police. It does not stop the Zhaunis bar. does not stop with the Slovenian parliament. It went through all the pores on every millimeter of the way. It is unprecedented. Uh, and... The degree of violence that Slovenian police exercise against me 
or through merely have touched also my family, which I believe gladly complied with one, heavily have affected also my father. In 2000, this individual here with the nurse Yanko have decided that they have to figure out the way in 99, beginning the 99, this too started to complicate, uh, contemplate this individual here. And a nurse Yanko from Home for Elderly People started to contemplate on how to make us, me and my father, disappear. And how that would possibly, how that could be done so that my father and myself would go against one another with what they contemplated at first to get my father excited. Yeah, that's how they got my father excited. Killing me first by basically getting me murdered first. And then it would be, you know, my father was actually, my father is 91. I am 50, I will be 52. And my father was actually insulted with idea that he would have to die before I would die. I mean, this is just a classic father of mine, the real nature, the real portrait of my loving father. Is like probably this sentence, the best he was traumatized and would start to beat me up, jump on me, hit me and stuff like this at MK Ultra. He could not accept and face that even during due to age, he would have to depart this world before myself. This is a real portrait of my father. And uh, the torture that went on against on me was unprecedented from village to village, from city to city throughout Lithuania, were hijacked finally beginning in 1995 even from United States of America, subjected to MKUltra, drugged up, taken from house to house so the people could do with me whatever they wanted in a most violent way. Uh, in return for discounted real estate, for job promotions, sometimes even for jobs, if the jobs were hard to find, if they didn't have qualifications, uh, or even if they have qualifications. Uh, credits, business opportunities, all sorts of issues. And this is what this was. This is what, this is how it goes, basically. This is what the proofs are. This is how you get the proofs. This is what they told me. This is, like, this is what's going to be the proofs. This is how you're going to get the proofs. And, you know, everything is going to work out. This is how they get you, you know. Then you're going to be wealthy and I don't know what. Yeah. So basically, this is the way it goes. This stuff. Um, my father really, really enjoyed violence, uh, especially once he got authorization for one from Milan Kuchan. Um, it, it, this was a match in heaven for my father. However, he became suspicious, clearly ill-minded, um, observed that uh, what he's doing is, uh, it's, it's, it's like, um, how can I say, I would talk about inhumane and stuff like this, but I don't actually have even the words to explain for the stuff like this. When you sit drugged up, and you no longer even recognize your father due to degree of violence. Try to imagine what I'm talking about. This is how it was during MK Ultra, and it's got to do with this individual here. So the two figure out that it would be the best to use my father due to the age difference. So it would look less suspicious to kill me. And um, Beginning in 2002, my father was used 
for evaluation 2001 2002 what the hell maybe even in 2000 already at home for elderly people in all um where a local police of Navoa Mesto seemingly at least using even a people who were not residents at the home for elderly people started a war inside of this premises on this property for elderly people in Novo Mesto uh, through using me, uh, throwing me in the face of the people and demanding from me if I can associate with them, if I want to marry their daughter, uh, you know, that kind of stuff, basically. So, yeah, a thousand people, uh, all kinds of people million people getting in your face and demanding from you to acknowledge them that you want to marry, I don't know, even wives and daughters and whatever walks in two legs and has got skirts. Uh, and if you did suffer a violence and you did associate it facially people with a certain group, uh, that helped tremendously with exercising violence against me trauma basically which they caused was used to further deepen violence fortify violence against me um anything they could use it was always used in retaliation and i was guilty for all kinds of stuff for everything they can possibly whatever somebody planned on whether that was a divorce or whatever they portrayed this like in a tragic most tragic way Okay, the fables out of it disappear, get them so even death certificates. All kinds of stuff went on, uh, a lot of which crime was connected to drugs. I ran through Slovenia with Slovenian police even involved in it, heavily involved in it, running the whole circus between Ljubljana and Milano, between Ljubljana, Rome. Uh, Sicily, Calabria, and so on. In the center of all this was the individual that you see right there. And in the year 2000, 2001, 2002, he started to use my father to get the feedback. That's what they claimed him on to see how the residents at home for elderly people would react if my father would become a resident for home at home for elderly people and he was at the police and they would start to sting residents uh, at home for elderly people they would deliver him a tv even and stuff like this he would be as my father and there will be some cases some people that would uh even i understand have appetite to hurt him because he was my father that's at least what they that's how they interpreted it to me police did this individual here did uh father at least pretended that he had a good time i don't think he had a good time i don't think that you want to be laying down and playing with this kind of stuff in other words a terror a psychiatric terror started against my father he became a prisoner of his own uh, of his own world that he got into he as i stated he really really didn't have to for the property that we have here um he didn't have to he, he really didn't have to do any of this stuff but it's difficult to explain uh to a person that how can I say? My father, my father is a working individual, you know, uh, but how can I say? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. If the state tells you that you have to do something in Yugoslavia, that you have to do some kind of criminal stuff or they order you something, 
If you didn't comply with it, you could well be without the job tomorrow. I mean, this was totally, totally merciless country. I know that's for sure. And you do end up losing even the house from your father and stuff like this. It could happen very, very easily to you. Slovenia, uh, Yugoslavia was a dictatorial country. Uh, it definitely was not really socialist. It definitely didn't have nothing to do with the communism. Uh, it had everything to do, however, with worse human practices that exist out there. Maybe it was even in a certain ways good for the average person, uh, health insurance wise and so on, uh, education wise, uh, maybe even, uh, I don't know how I would think about the work. Um, maybe, I don't know. From my perspective, what I can say is the only thing I can say is the stuff I'm saying to you is basically the way it was. This was chaotic, violent environment for me personally that uh, came with a very, very heavy toll. Um, I personally believe that for the natives from Slovenia, there was no way to live in a country like this because you had, I don't know how many nationalities in one, and every nationality that would wander in your company uh, would have more rights than you had. And um, it didn't even have to be anything that you did wrong or something like that. It was just enough that somebody was a Serb and took for granted whatever was yours. Uh, and you didn't even have to say anything. You just have to comply or die, basically. Because before you knew, it would be others that will follow up on you. And the pe people just don't understand any of this stuff about how this here was, what the hell this was. And it really doesn't matter to me anymore whether they understand or they don't understand. Because the difference between what used to be Yugoslavia and Slovenia, for me, essentially, there is none. There is absolutely none. Slovenia is, is the worst. I'm going to do my best to see if I can possibly succeed in it by throwing Slovenia out of European Union. Do my best. I will dedicate my life to get Slovenia thrown out of United Nations and hopefully out of NATO. And... Uh, see basically how this is going to work out. Because I want the world to hear not about issues concerning Russia and Serbia. Uh, me as a native, but I want the world to understand the human conscience of this little nation, this little people here, the way they, the character, it's, it's, it's character, the, the character of the nation, that's basically what I want. I want the world to understand what this Slovenia is. This is my, my main thing is, demand is for the world to acknowledge what this country has done. It's okay if I am in the process, a knowledge is the worst person in the world or whatever it is. I don't give a three fucks about that. I just want the world to acknowledge what this country have done to me. And you're all going to deal with this kind of issues afterwards, whichever way you know. I think that the world with a nation like this cannot but fail. Not go for the worst, but with a, even a little nation like this, the world can, the only thing it can do is it can detonate itself. Because such an evil, there is no prosperity, no future for the entire world because of a little nation like this. I do believe this. Because it's this kind of nation that have used all kinds of criminal, most malicious criminal, genocidal tactics that any, the biggest country would utilize against a single individual to get one murdered, basically.
in in really and murdered like in a in a most disgusting, despicable, uh, merciless way possible. That's what this is about. This individual here, this psychiatrist, Peter Kapsch, expert on schizophrenia, obviously, that he's an expert on schizophrenia. He probably wouldn't be my psychiatrist involved in this stuff if he wouldn't be an expert on schizophrenia. Started to further use my father more and more for evaluations at this home for elderly people. And the bigger and bigger toll started to take on father, uh, who would have to stay for longer and longer periods occasionally at the hospital and at the home for elderly people where they would bully, supposedly they would bully people. My father, uh, all true, he was tormented, he was tortured, he was heavily tortured at the hospital, at the General Hospital Novomesto, at the Home for Elderly People by this individual here, uh, find its way out of complete insanity due to torture uh, by associating himself to uh, reactions which he claimed uh, with psychiatry Peter Kopsch, with the individual that you see there, with the police investigators, uh, he managed to obtain from the subjects involved in MK Ultra. And so to entertain my father, yes, to entertain my father, to convince him how useful he is, that they are still the patients, the residents of the home for elderly people. Uh, I think they were not, no longer interested in my father very, very long time, if anyone ever was interested in a poor fool. But it was extremely important for one to stay somehow, some way on the picture. My father no longer would want to be on the picture. However, he no longer could get off the film if I use a term picture. Now, let me explain what picture in terms of psychiatrist Peter Kopsch was. My father saw himself like on a big screen all the fucking time. There was a lot of people from Hollywood, all kinds of people here that traveled. And my father knows nothing about even what a smartphone is. My father has shown exactly zero intellect in respect to computers, cameras, telephones. He barely even know how to use a telephone that only has a regular keyboard with the numbers on it. And this here, this individual here that you see, was the one who got him in the hands and started to brainwash him how they recorded this one doing something wrong, losing nerves when father would be they literally empowered my father, suggested one on how to misbehave with the people, how to do little annoying things that eventually would drive people insane, while at the same time, this MK Ultra subjects were instructed to copy, oh, copy. They were instructed to depict me, yeah, depict to me myself on what to expect from visitations at the father. And here and there, some individual maybe did fail for a stupid, annoying stuff, um, went off. And they would go and they would start to congratulate the father and how they got him on a tape and stuff like this. And that kind of an issue went on. And my father was thrilled 
with a stupidity unless he lied, unless they all lied. I just don't know even that part. This is MK Ultra. I know that my father no longer wanted to be on the picture. I know that he started to suffer more and more and more. Eventually, he wanted to get off this stuff. And psychiatrist Peter Kopsch started to death threaten one, which is also something I already have described on the blog. I'm not going to go there now. But psychiatrist Peter Kopsch started to death threaten one and was becoming more and more and more and more violent each time. Psychiatrist Peter Kopsch, meanwhile, with my stay in the United States of America, literally had moved inside of our house and would control every aspect of my father's life. My father would have to go and fish with him, while a psychiatrist, Peter Kopsch, would literally cook fried food upstairs, prepare everything, walk with my father, and have even presented himself to the people that would visit as his son. He did so definitely to me on quite a few occasions when I did deliver me from the United States of America. This is unprecedented bully, this individual here. And what he did is it goes beyond anything that went on in a Yugoslav federation in Yugoslavia. Psychiatrist uh, Peter Kopsch was outed. This was an old giver of Tito, of Josip Bros Tito. This, this is the guy who embraced this beast from Belgrade and would give just about absolutely anything that could contribute the return of dictator from Belgrade, death upon us all. Uh, he served none other than Milan Kuchan, Borut Pahor, Janus Dernoshek, Danilo Turk, Miran Potrč, Gregor Golovic, Tanya Fajon, and all other politicians that openly declared themselves as uh, pro Yugoslav politicians had have. Uh, it makes no difference. Um, his main Fort Knox in Slovenia is none other than Psychiatric Hospital Ljubljana Polia, which would deliver me to Belgrade since my age two. Since my age two would have a psychiatrist from Ljubljana Polia that would accompany me to Belgrade, to Serbia. Uh, this was the main engine, and this is his main protectorate, the main under which he functioned with a special privileges, protection, state protection, and other issues. Yeah? My father was becoming a desperate. Uh, he didn't want to be on a picture anymore. For the first time, he understood what it means to not go fish, what it means to not go hunt, what it means to start to lose his life, basically, on something that um, he feared dearly. As much as he enjoyed uh, that thrill that he got from torture he exercised on me, uh, much of that thrill came from fear. I think he feared me dearly. Uh, on one side, he enjoyed his torture. On the other side, he, I think, fairly, fairly fear, feared me of the consequence of what this could bring into his life. Uh, this abuse became uh, toxic, even more so, with psychiatrist Peter Kapsch entering. Uh, turn one into totally, totally mentally ill individual, talking about my father. You remember when in 2020 I returned from Poland and my father was pissing uh, at my door from my room uh, at night and that kind of stuff? It was this individual here that did put in his head all kinds of issues. And Nurse Yanko was associated with this individual. Nurse Yanko was the most violent individual involved in MKUltra. And it's exactly 
what psychiatrists Peter Kaff used as a proxy between my father, myself, uh, and him. Uh, that's he would use people like this to like a proxy to hide behind and uh, attack basically with everything he had. And what these people encouraged in, based on my knowledge, based on my experience, uh, it's 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 close. It's impossible to describe man who would walk on a dam, on the River Kirka Dam, let's say, and would be pushing people into the water. Some of which he would push would break themselves on the rocks, bleed over there on a Kirka River and stuff like this. But police would come and give him a backup. Uh, committed numerous crimes for which he never was responsible. I mean, the world I'm talking about is far beyond, if you would go to uh, some kind of a crime, heavy crime area or something like this, it's just that people will walk without facing absolutely any kind of consequences. Now, this is the individual that you see right there. And with the amount of uh, torture that went on, my father alone found himself drugged up uh, and uh, systematically turned into suicidal lunatic, completely through toxicity of issues they misrepresented to one, what they did on him. I was writing the blogs and stuff like this, which they demanded from me. And whichever way they interpreted to one, with my father already, as I explained earlier, uh, having a serious, serious lack of reasoning, taking responsibility for his own actions, uh, accountability for his own actions, uh, they drove him completely insane. They drove him completely nuts. So I could say that my father no longer discerned between the day and night in a terms of, uh, not in a terms of sleep. He always made sure he would get the best out of the life when it comes to issues like sleeping and stuff like that, health. Uh, but reasoning was catastrophic. Um, the world started to spin faster and faster once they, I noticed, even sipped in one. What were the eye drops? Which would cause him uh, severe damage. But 10 years ago, uh, they, they, they commenced to systematically blind my father, which is also something I published, and, uh, you know, blamed me for it, interpreted uh, my father this issue, or whichever way they interpreted one. British royals knew about this stuff. I know so because they demanded from me to acknowledge this, to okay this. And they started to during MK Ultra in our house at night. Uh, do exactly as I stated. They started to drop him eye drops. Uh, my father eventually got angry with me. Uh, before the hospitalization, actually 10 years ago. Now that is really stupid, yeah. In 2010, they started with this practice, in 2011. And they did to him one, two, three times, or something like this. He would have a very, very big problem with the eyes. Um, he did not lock himself inside of the room, like my mother demanded him to lock himself. He left the doors open, they would go inside, uh, they might have even drug him up during the sleep, so he wouldn't even know what the fuck went on, and they would drop him this stuff inside of his eyes, for which he would feel terrible consequences. 
uh, on what my father got uh, angry, uh, threatening me, will even throw me inside a psychiatric hospital in 2013 if I am not going to stop this and start to lock myself inside of the room and so on and so forth. The next thing you see, he went and he reported me for domestic violence, which Slovenian state needed to push against me criminal charges, label me as a paranoid schizophrenic, hospitalize me and commence the psychiatric murder, basically, which Well, went on for no less than four years with my escaping from the country on two occasions on a dozen countries. It's impossible to explain my life since age two. Um, No, I'm 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 simply uh, I'm simply thinking about I'm simply thinking about you know I'm I'm simply thinking about issue like this one here, for instance. It's a lot, a lot of disturbing stuff that um, Find it extremely hard to believe that Slovenian people, rather than to, um, you know, um, resolve this issue, um, even have gone to to confuse on this stuff, and. Um, I will not get, but uh, there is a girl that eventually, with the assistance of the psychiatric hospital in Ljubljana Polje, would go uh, and get, I don't know how many people, to support her from Slovenia, uh, through exactly the same channels as I did. This is this is what what is disturbing to me. You know, you would not recognize, you would not admit what you did, but you would get people that would go through the very same channels as I did, somewhat, and demonstrate world as a channels that are bad, bad, bad channels for the people. Uh, suggest me that it is for my sake 
however, would not resolve what never ever should even take place. Basically, what you did was you even got yourself a guarantee that you took like an extra mile to help me out with something that you never even did. I mean, it's it's actually very, very difficult to explain the, the degree of the abuse that took place against me in Slovenia. They literally used people uh, who voluntarily would enter a psychiatric hospital in Polje, and then a Slovenian state through a psychiatric hospital in Polje would hospitalize them and begun to pamper them with injections against their will and stuff like this. Uh, so they could get a support from as many as possible Slovenian people and suggest me that these are, uh, in fact, my supporters and that I can go and I can uh, call the person out and I would get the support and stuff like this and so on and so forth. Um, you know, really, I have to do this. I have to go and I have to rely on the fake people. If I have to rely on the fake people, then I am a, must be a very, very fake person for one thing, or even better, I should say, I'm mentally ill in that case. When I will rely on the people like you, I am going to consider myself as mentally ill. I, I consider it like, like an ultimate, ultimate psychiatric abuse against me that entered the stage that is unprecedented from psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polje. I yet have to go and write about that stuff. Uh, politicians got also involved in it. Um, Slovenia started to divide itself on Slovenia and Slovenia, and I don't know what out of Slovenia. Uh, but, you know, this is a, such a, such a simple truth, such a simple thing to solve, which unfortunately now will become, eventually did, because I will never, ever allow you to resolve this issue. Big fucking problem for entire nation. Now you do have a problem. You didn't have one before, but I told you when I'm going to have to resolve this issue by myself, it's going to be just as the British have stated me, it's going to be a different price. Now, obviously, if I have to resolve what never should be resolved, obviously that we have nothing to talk about. Obviously. As for my father, once he got into this stuff, and they started to, even after they hospitalized me, they continued to do him things. He would find his way to the hospital, to the home for elderly people. The eyes started to bother him more and more, agonizing him. Uh, he got himself in a more and more and more problems, more and more often. Uh, he started to fail. With my mommy around, Things went only from bad to the worse and worse and worse. His health deteriorated. God knows what else they have done to him. But you know what? My father did not exercise absolutely any, any concerns. Nothing bothered him. Eventually, 2016, 2017, I ended up running for life to head to the Budapest, through the Budapest, tried through the Poland to get to Belarus, couldn't make it went to Ukraine, but you know, you're talking about without basically cent in your pocket. And then with a plane to Belarus and back and forth, you're basically living in a fear from having more unbearable to sustain consequences, physical consequences, because this, this pills, these drugs, they were sipping down my throat while ripping my body apart in unbearable pain I suffered and it was a lot of damage done to my body. Uh, it would be better really that I took my life than continue to sip the drugs which 
Slovenian police demanded and would have nurses coming at home to control me, take um, urine, blood, and stuff like this to make sure that I'm taking those pills, folks. Do you understand what I'm saying? I mean that the, the violence against me became unprecedented. Slovenia got excuse for a genocide which was approved totally from London. The British were totally aligned, sympathized with this genocide, with Americans signed for it. I was as good as that. But it was few good people that did not want to go along this, and they started to blame British for it. British crown started to look shittier and shittier every day. And thanks to these people, things that just didn't go through. It was because the case grew so big that they just couldn't kill me the way they wanted. They needed me even more for their political agenda. Next run I did was through Hungary, Slovakia, to Poland, and then to Czech Republic, and so on in 2017, and so on. So my father, through this time, through this suffering I've gone through, uh, maybe didn't even have a chance Maybe he didn't even have a chance to come close to me anywhere near to, uh, you know, maybe, maybe not. The thing is that when I came home from Poland, I was trying to do my best. I tried to take him out for a walk, prepare the food for him so he would have good food, so he wouldn't eat garbage. They got him to eat bread and drink uh, tea, that kind of stuff. Um, which they used further to brainwash me on how father is going to get stroke and all kinds of stuff like this, not to wonder about it, and, and that's what I'm not supposed to eat, and kind of stuff like this. Um, that my father hated me because of this issue here. <laughs> and, There is absolutely no doubt about it. Uh, there is absolutely no doubt about that he hated me because of this issue, uh, which was the issue in his head. He is a mentally ill person, if you ask me, incapable to take responsibility for his actions of any kind. And the only way he found is what the weak people do, is an excuse in causing more crime, causing more harm. Uh, it was more convenient, and uh, he did hope to retaliate and somehow to destroy me, to get me murdered anyway. So he did, regardless of what he knew very good this individual was doing to him, despite everything, Yet again, he have chosen that he will go on his criminal way against me and do best to his abilities to get me murdered. He bullied, he challenged during his stay at home. And finally, according to MK Ultra, which they were preparing again, well, what used to be a systematic upgrade of evaluation at home for elderly people where first residents would be patients would be evaluated in respect to the status of my father which was that my father and i was the most hated man apparently rise to another level in meanwhile they started to play 
guaranteeing my father on how they will destroy me, as I told you, evaluate NK Ultra staff members they would get, but they would use people to brainwash me on how I have to see things when visiting father so that father would stay alive. Yeah. <laughs> so that father would stay alive, I would have to alarm all the time about my daddy. My new side, according to the psychiatrist here that you see, should be completely covered with almost nothing other than my writing about my daddy. Yeah, it should be all dedicated to my father or the daddy will die. Or the daddy will die. This is what they were doing for the least 20 years, claiming me, daddy will die. Your papa will die. Your daddy is dying. And they were leaving like million signs on every step of the way in the village, throughout the village, for the house interior. I don't even want to get into it. In the city, wherever I would move, meeting people, numerous people that were involved in it. And it was all about die, die, your daddy, die. And so my father appears that. Uh, His uh, talk about how he wants to do with me, talk with me, do things, and so on, uh, became um, foreign to him. It appears to me that he was not capable to relate to his bullshit anymore during MK Ultra when he claimed that he's on my side, that he wants to help me, that, that he wanted to talk to me, and this and that. That was a bullshit. From the practical point of view, it was a bullshit. From the psychiatrist Peter Tuff's point of view, it was very good. Anything goes good. The thing about it is that my father have obligated to serve the man that you see right there, not me. Not him, not his own health. It didn't fucking matter to him. Nothing mattered to him. Even if he was trying to help him out when he came back from Poland, I didn't want anything from him. He went on like a torpedo with his lunacy. I wrote about how I took one for a walk and found myself in a strange situation with having an individual who was involved in MK Ultra rather take one home, took one into the city, my calling the police around to find father and all kinds of stuff like this drove me fucking insane. Finally got himself on a stretcher again, something they did during MK Ultra already before, through what is known as a stroke pill, it's a pill they give you, and symptoms you get are very similar to the stroke. And so that was, that was his departure to hospital, to General Hospital Novo Mesto, Hope for elderly people where he would hopefully again rehearse his previous uh, state, his game basically, during which I would be paying him visits and we would be getting ourselves into all kinds of MK Ultra scenarios, which this psychiatrist had other people also rehearse and so on. And, and so this is now what uh, his final days became with my mother giving all the time adding to this uh, subliminary science how he's gonna die and this and that in one way bullying basically driving insane person even blaming me for his death literally what exactly is the situation with this uh, father of mine right now at the home for elderly people. Well, this individual here assured me with a nurse I have spoken with on August the 13th, 2023, that stabbing my father with the nails into his arm will be done in a such a way so for father would not even feel the pain and it would be done in a such a way that hygienically looking 
would not have a effect on my father that so that he would be health wise he would not have any problems with it you know this is really really nasty what you see right there uh, it is something I was brainwashed heavily by the police by the psychiatrists that I demonstrated you that this is my last chance to get father out to save your daddy uh, you go and you video record and you put the speech from the nurse in fact that day were two nurses in there one nurse that claimed me the female nurse that claimed me well you know uh, the skin just breaks uh, because he's old and stuff like this for which during mk archer they suggested me you know that the skin does not break you're going to see this, you're going to see, right? You're going to see the marks from the nails, right? You're going to see this. Then it went on. And I recall when I saw immediately those marks, I recall the police director from Novo Mesto, whose name is Janis Ogolin. If we get lucky with this. Be. no longer his director he was replaced with another individual who also was involved in mk ultra this is the individual that you see on on your right side is the new director this individual however also was involved in mk ultra all three individuals were involved in mk ultra on your right side is uh, Jana Zogolin who departed Novomesto police station. Those are nice pictures you see right there, eh? the guy with the bullet in the head. Eh? That's nice. Okay. Slovenian humor or whatever. Oh, the last blogs. Cool. All right, I get a lot of that stuff anyways, but okay. Um, for me, it's important to demonstrate to you. These three people that you see all were involved in MKUltra. This was a director I am talking about in a little bit. You're going to hear the nurse who I think he was even intimate with her on the site. Uh, this guy had a, a big sympathy for the ladies. Uh, you can call, you can say whatever it is, but he was one hell of a charmer. He was a hell of a charmer. Uh, whatever I didn't like, he definitely made sure uh, he left the best impression, personal impression possible at the subjects. And so I think that he actually did even have a affair with this uh, nurse I was talking to the other day, which suggested that he didn't have any kind of problem, my father, and it was just a skin related issue due to his age, the skin broke and that kind of stuff. At the same time, this was the guy who suggested also who had, I remember this when he walked inside and he ordered the nurse, this very nurse, to learn about all the incidents which the nurses at the home for elderly people would experience with the patients. In other words, if the patients would anger nurses, this individual wanted to know what kind of uh, Hey, you know, it's a mental illness when you retaliate to a patient, for one thing. Uh, but this individual wanted to know the type of incidents, what exactly would involve is this, if there was any physical retaliation for nurses that would take place uh, whenever the nurses would get annoyed by 
um, patients. And she went ahead, so the nurse, that you're going to hear the female, and investigated everything and gathered the list of incidents for the last, I don't know how many years, since, and they reported to one what kind of stuff, what kind of injuries would even develop, basically, if it was a nurse that kicked somebody or it was a nurse that did something like this. It was, so she took the file with him, she studied the incidents, and then he requested from the nursing staff with whom he interacted in this floor exactly this kind of injury, which I have demonstrated on the blog. I video recorded on August the 13th, 2023. And before uh, they would do this kind of stuff, uh, I, I psychiatrist Peter Kopp, uh, individual police, police individuals you have seen, even had to assure me, I had to hear them, that the type of injury uh, Hi. Hi. The, the type of the injury the father would have See, yeah. See, would not being... cause one no. any, yeah. especially no, any no. infection. This I will never forget when the nurse, person again, beat, no. she did this already sure. before and demonstrated even on how she did this kind of stuff so they would not be infectious would it cost one uh, a real infection problem uh, the police the psychiatrist Peter for my father however who also agreed to have this done on him uh, so that I could go and complain oh my father uh, according to the other scenario first stated uh, that the skin cracked because of his age but it was not because of his age as they demonstrated to me during MK Ultra. this was not done to him even the first time Obviously, this is because of the nails in his left arm. And, well, uh -huh, you know, uh, uh, when I would put this, it would suppose it would trigger the police investigation, the police would come inside, and they would start to investigate the department for abuse, for the physical abuse of the patient, yeah? So, you know what I mean? Then it gets even better because I returned back inside the room to video record this stuff, to document this stuff. And it's a male nurse that comes to me, which video I have not posted, but I will this time online. And he talks to me about how my father is violent. is apologizing, in other words, something what in my eyes otherwise would be a physical violence. If it would have been, trust me, a physical violence, I would do something like this. I would ring the police and I would do the inquiry about this stuff. But because we are numb because we didn't know absolutely anything about what went on, because I had to do absolutely everything on my own, the whole thing, uh, because I lost 49 years of life in process of this shit, and nobody hurt, nobody understood about me, Nobody was interested in ever helping me out because maybe so many reasons, uh, reasons too many to count. A 
of which in this case the number one reason is the criminal character itself of my father's misbehavior. What you see here is a criminal conduct. And it appears that it's easier than to treat another individual with respect and with a dignity. Myself, I am a human being. I'm not animal. I'm a human being. And I will not allow anybody to continue to treat me like an animal. I will not allow anybody to extort, to continue to engage against me with a crime. And of course, I am reporting this, what you see right there, as another form of crime against me. What you see right there eventually summarizes three years of torture implemented against me by the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch and local Novomesto Police Department, which attempted all in agreement with Home for Elderly People, resolve something I resolved entirely by myself. Basically, when everything is completed, when everything is done, they want to do the job. Portray my father even to me as a solution, as a help, as a form of assistance for my losing basically sanity with one. Uh, it's not going to work for me. It's, I'm not going to say too little, too late, but there is nothing even to talk about when it comes to all this stuff. This uh, violence was further supported by the roommate, whose name is Kuletic, and who was used under MK Ultra to implement on behalf of Slovenian state against me a number of really ugly conspiracies. He triggered a lot of very, very bad death threats involving my father on what it would be uh, if I would this, if I would that, if I would want to go and describe the amount of incidents, Mr. Kuletic whom I even tried to depict because I didn't know. The first thing is to make sure that everybody's doing well. That is, of course, till it is determined exactly about who play what role. That's his roommate, Mr. Kuletic. The latest conspiracy which, however, was not launched only through Slovenia, involved COVID-19. In fact, the COVID-19, if you would go date-wise, on August the 13th was not even so prominent around the world. But the news which suggested that in some part of the U.S. or wherever in the world that the COVID-19 appeared, was completely, completely coordinated with the MK Ultra brainwash for which Slovenian state claimed me. Will be used to remove my father from the process, basically either write one a death certificate or simply get one killed, whichever way it would be for which I already told you before that if I would not benefit one, uh, basically when I say not benefit one, my father that threatened me that he would demand from the staff to kill him. Uh, Yanko, Nurse Yanko, that threatened in respect to father that if I would not uh, benefit my father, if I lie about the whole thing, see things that don't exist, basically, 
uh, he would get one killed because of love for him. This is how he interpreted it. You have a psychiatrist, Peter Kapp, uh, excuse me, Stergar, involved in this. It's a psychiatrist for the Home for Elderly People who also was involved since 95, threatening, claiming me that he would watch my writing and if the writing, it would all depend on how the writing would be. The writing would be negative. It would have a negative impact on my father, whom everything would be translated in Slovenian language. He would just continue to dose my father with uh, not a tranquilizer, but with a sleeping sedatives, whatever you want to say, pills, whatever. You know the kind of fucking environment this is? It's a very extremely, extremely ill-minded, time-wasting, precious time-wasting, energy-wasting procedure. Based on which it is demanded from me to basically deny myself and forget about absolutely everything, whatever went on, or will never see my daddy again. Well, I am going to stop here. I am not going to go into any further about uh, where, how, what to see. I am going to go ahead. I'm going to play you an audio recording which is going to be dedicated to August the 15th of 2023, and which will start preliminary with my entering facility, Home for Elderly People, where it would be a paper listed like this, uh, thanks to a very good nurse that was right there, who was involved in MT Ultra and who also informed me uh, about what they will do to father uh, unless I will be capable to prove. This was video recorded on August the 17th, 2023, but the initial audio which I am going to use was when I entered the facility uh, on the first floor there was a nurse uh, standing right in front of the. There was this paper that you see right there, that you see in front of you, on how it is uh, COVID. Yeah, did not even exist. This paper did not exist. But you would step inside. It was exactly this paper, however, that it did exist with a nurse reading this paper right there uh and i asked one quite by triple coincidence what is she reading about i was i was lying and there's she was standing right there in the in that hall and i said lady what are you reading at and she said well uh we have a covid here at this uh place here yeah the covid apparently i was even assured yesterday is gone Therefore, on August the 17th, uh, it's not a big deal. Um, however, the nurse who, what is a big deal is that the nurse prompted me during MTO, yes, that what will make the difference for me at this point is a fact that if I will manage to report that the COVID appeared at the home for elderly people in the city of the Novo Mesto, uh, at the same time as it appeared in the United States of America, that kind of stuff, I will actually even have a proof that something is not okay. Because you know why? This is Slovenia. And it, this COVID doesn't explode in, in within 24 hours or three days throughout the entire world. When it starts to reappear, it reappears unevenly. And the chances that one would get like within the three days right here to Slovenia to this home for elderly people are actually none. 
percentage wise if you're a mathematician there are none close to none all right it's got to be something like 0 0.0000 wherever yeah so that if i would report this on time would eventually even justify that they are in a process of removing the father from the home for elderly people but basically assigning one either a death certificate or maybe even killing him that this would be a proof is what this nurse every nurse everybody at this home for elderly people was involved in and the ultra have stated to me yes and mr kuletic a roommate from my father which you are about to see in just a little bit, insisted me that they're gonna have him do this, they're gonna have him do that, they're gonna do all kinds of, I don't know, million things that they will do to, uh, um, if I will not this, it will be this, if I will not do that, it will be this, if I, oh, what the fuck, like I said, if if it would be like this i would be writing about my father only there would be nothing about anything else that would go on uh, i i doubt i would have any readers even reading the stuff about what applies to me anymore because i would i would kill the readers i would kill the people the viewers with a bullshit this is a bullshit. I hope you understand. This is Slovenian state bullshit, which was paid in for, financed by United States of America, London, Germans, of course, on behalf of Russia and Belgrade. Let's see basically what this looks like. This is recorded yesterday. This is Mr. Uh, Mr. Koletic is at the entrance here. And to me, the main thing is that you see uh, the room from my father. This is the room from my father. I enter. Look at those napkins. Do you see those napkins? Sure. Mr. Koletic is sleeping, but look at what this is. Okay, this is more or less looks like a COVID, right? But we don't have COVID here in the father's room we don't have it here anywhere but mr koletic is using this to remind me of mk ultra scenario in respect to COVID. the mk ultra scenario a portion of the mk ultra scenario which i already have explained right if you're not going to see it our way then it's going to be a COVID. then it's going to be this way now at the same time my dear loving father translated to me i'm just going to let this Raw translated to me this stuff. If I, if you still gonna have me at the hospital at this stage, and if you still gonna have me uh, inside of this home for elderly at this stage, <laughs> if you will still have me, I'm gonna post this below this videos so that you can see if you wanna see it natrium chloride brown nine um this is just a cream no, no attention to that stuff the same everything as it was I, I find another one on the other end see my father a little bit He is not sleeping. He is exactly the way you see right there. And in a little bit, uh, he will become a very, very agitated uh, and responsive and uh, in a very not nice way. And I was smart enough not to even have a light turned on on the camera because uh, my father learned during MK Ultra, that he does have the right to punch somebody in the nose on into his phone, smash the phone down and do whatever he wants if you are flashing in his face. It was 
eventually even Germans that would go and inspect the things and they would have a camera, the light turned on and he would punch them and I don't know what he would do. And they realized that from the psychological evaluation point of view, uh, it's actually even justified for the person to do that kind of stuff. So my father is doing absolutely everything coordinated with the psychiatrist. Peter Kapsch, novel master police, everything he does is exactly totally, totally uh, coordinated with the police. Nothing he does would be uh, something that he would be doing on his own. Heparin, natri, something. Yeah. Um, I did one time with this light, and he didn't like it. He almost kicked my uh, phone on my hands. Uh, and then I learned not to do this so I can get the proper feedback, so that I can see basically what is going on with him, right? I mean, you wouldn't be doing this kind of stuff if someone who is checking all this, who's seeing all these things, um, so this is this is his roommate. I go and I turn the light on. Uh, see what is going on. I want to see what's happening. If he is up for a, a video, maybe I come here. I play him a videos. I would love to do that kind of stuff. I like to make him easy things, and then just basically pack him up and bring him home so he would have life, a normal life. Uh, basically. He is incapable to uh, accept uh, whichever he sees in his head this situation is. I don't know what is in his head. He might be, whatever, whatever the case might be, um, you know, it's, 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 it's totally impossible. This is an old person. Uh, I told you about the character he always had. And in the hands of the people, surrounded with the people like this, he is just, um, um, in his own world, to put it in the right terms, uh, would love to help one, I would love to, to, to help him out, would love to help do something good for him, but how do you do this shit when, you know, He's angry, he's bitter. Uh, and he just continues to do his ways. In a little bit, you're going to see me. I will go, uh, I'll come from the restroom. I'll try to touch him to see basically what is going on. Uh, why do I touch him in other part of the body? Basically to see if he's got any pain anywhere else in other part of the body. So I see basically what is going on with his body. Uh, you understand me? The point here is that I want to see how he's doing it. He would not have by any chance, as they ins insisted me, that he had a heart attack problem and all kinds of stuff during anti-ultra, a cardiovascular problem that he had a pain and all kinds of stuff like this. They suggested me that I can I want to make sure that he's okay, that he's physically doing okay, and want to make sure that I see that he's physically okay, so that if he would be not, I would request it for help. You see, it's my job to make sure that he's been taken care of, that he is not suffering, really, uh, from some serious issues, that he's not being neglected in absolutely any way, uh, but it's not my job to go out there and rationalize uh, you know, make one as a uh, martyr, you know, like a victim or something like that. Sorry, he's not a victim. He did not manage to be even half or a fourth of the human being. This man does not have a face. This is a man without face, which, who serves the Iranian state in ultimate genocide against me, and did not have a courage to be a father to begin with. I don't know how much he is, uh, this is his fault. You know, Slovenia believes that this is his fault as much as 
I'm willing to deny myself. Slovenia believes that this is his fault uh, as much as He can, uh, Slovenia can rationalize violence against me. That means as much as I'm willing to accept one for granted. That's basically the Slovenian way. <laughs> I will not forget the motto of the Socialist Republic Yugoslavia, Sofria. Uh, a human being is a main uh, value of this country. Uh, Glauna uh, Dobrina Yugoslavia Soljudje, uh, Yetslovet. Uh, it kind of a sound to me in Yugoslavia when I was like, I was a fucking cattle. Literally, it did not, I was not enthusiastic about it because I did not understood what exactly they tried to say. And my schoolmates based on observation, watching my case in Yugoslavia already, started to refer the whole thing as a shtala. I'm basically talking about the classroom. Shtala was a classroom, shtala was a workplace. Uh, it means a stall, like a stall for the animals, basically. They acknowledge Yugoslavia and later even Slovenia is totally inhumane. In a big way, they did not agree with this stuff. They, they, did, they couldn't allow themselves to see themselves through this. And they really shouldn't. It's very important that I stress this so that you understand that I am dealing here with much more than my father. I am dealing here with something I inherited upon fall of Yugoslavia, but was there present already since my birth. It's called Slovenia. It's very, very, very important. You know, earlier I stated Slovenia should not be a NATO member. Slovenia should not be European Union member state. Slovenia should not have the right to United Nations, presence within the United Nations. Slovenia have a serious problem. This is a problem, the most severe problem I ever heard of. It's 49 years old problem. Did not manage to solve one and have developed one into what you see here. As I'm going to touch one. Ah, he touches me. That's very nice. Because I want to see what's going on. I go and I take the phone in my hands. Uh, what exactly I mean about this, this things here? My father really, uh, the stuff that, that he got himself into, um, this is really, really for him. He really did not need any of this shit. Um, he didn't need any of this stuff. I don't think he liked it. Um, Let's see this thing, the whole thing, because he yells here, pain. It's obviously painful to him. Ah! The bully, too, okay. The bully, too, okay. I touched him. I touched hmm? him up there. The bully, too. Right? He got a pain. Too me, bully. Yes. Too little the bully? The bully, too, right? Too me, bully. It appeared that he did have a pain. I am afraid to actually touch him over there because it's, it's, it, the way he uh, was quite aggressive. I mean, it was obviously it was painful. 
And the thing about it is that uh, as I touch him, in a little bit, I think you're going to see that. Okay, no. Look, you see what this is? The beard. <laughs> I mean, this is not, you know what I mean? You you have seen this stuff here? Okay, no. The beard. Okay. Excuse me, but what the fuck is this? That somebody comes to check you, to see you, to make sure that you're doing well, and you are returning one with an attitude like this. What the fuck is this? And I know why this is. This is because I did post this stuff here that you see online where I have written down this was involved in anti-ultra. Hey, I, I don't even understand how come the hell I did wrote down that it did have to do, this was in August the 13th, all right? We're gonna do it like this. And we're gonna stretch down here. It was right here that I have listed uh, and totally, totally explained this whole thing. These nail marks on my father's left hand where he marks this is the next day on the August the 14th of the Yana Zogolin. This is the police officer that I explained to you how it all came about this stuff here. And so my father, my loving father, believe that I'm going to go and I will report domestic abuse, actually abuse at the, at the, at the home for elderly people. They, they were like, this is your last chance. This is your last chance. This is your last chance. And they supported this stuff with, after this one, you will not have one anymore. You're going to lose both parents. You're going to lose the parents. It's going to be this. It's going to be that. It's going to be, hey, these people are doing absolutely everything for me to look like a schizophrenic. They're doing absolutely everything possible to make me look like a paranoid schizophrenic, like a paranoid. That I see things that don't fucking exist. And I refuse to be victim of my father. My father sold me to psychiatric hospital in 2013. It was enough of this stuff. He caused enormous harm, my father who continues to subject himself to, 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 to self-deterioration, to suffering, so that, that he could, you know, not excuse his mindless past, for which I never ever asked him to apologize to me. I didn't even ask him to apologize to, apologize to me. I never asked him to apologize to me. You know, I would not accept the apology from the man like this. Not from him, not from my father, mother, from anybody for that matter. Because, excuse me, there are certain things you cannot apologize. I told my father, just take care of yourself. I am here to help you out. I come to visit here to make sure that you're doing well, that you're doing okay. I am just trying to help you out. Make sure that you are doing okay so that you can come home and you can have something out of your life. Maybe, possibly, even help you with the stuff 
the psychiatrist Peter Kapshev done to you with the police when they literally blind you with drops with the stuff they did. It make you blind so you get injections, so you get horrific this treatment that is really used, that was actually used to agonize him. The psychiatrist Peter Kops have chosen extremely sadistic, the most criminal, the most painful for an individual way possible. I mean, he, this isn't about making an individual blind or something like this, but this is, this is to make an individual a health condition which is irreversibly making one blind through the agony. And this was a characteristic for the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch. It was a characteristic for the police director Jan Zogulin, the stuff I'm talking about. It's basically causing an individual chronic disease, chronic a struggle through the agony, which in no way possible you can win, and your health condition only is deteriorating while depicting the other individual, your family member, as malicious, as criminal to you as much as possible. So there would be, I mean, it would be, what can I say? Stuff like this brought, can only bring one thing into a family, and that's a tragedy between the family members. This is a real character of this assassin here, who in meanwhile became a local celebrity. During MK Ultra, they would deliver him, they would deliver me to his speech, where he would have a speech here in the, in, at the library in the Novo Mesto. He would have a speech over there, he would have his audience. And I would be attacked by individual that would be checking the people Basically, their invitations to this psychiatrist Peter Kapsch that would that would have his show. I think it was at the at the at the library, Novo Mesto Library or wherever they brought me, where he would have his show. Basically, at the stage, I don't know where they had this stuff, but I would find myself uh, at the entrance with an individual. Uh, getting in my face and threatening me with the police and I don't know what, with that I'm going to be arrested. Supposedly that I was during MK Ultra giving leaflets to the people uh, against where it would be material used against psychiatrists, Peter Kops and this and that, and the police would come. The whole thing would develop into physical confrontation, I don't know what, uh, and arrest me, and so on and so forth. At this point in time, because of the lack of time, because of the pressure Slovenian government is exercising against me, loading me with more and more crime, I am inquiring any international law enforcement agency, whether that be International Criminal Court, Interpol, European law enforcement, FBI, whatever it is out there, if interested in assisting me to get in contact with me, because I do need whatever I can get to get this country, not only police department, investigated. It's not about the police department, it's about the Slovenian police, it's about the national. It's an urgency, it's what they refer to urgencies. You have different types of urgencies. They teach me, they tutored me during MK Ultra. You have a poisoning, you can have a hygienic, you can have, I don't know, what kind of Floods, whatever kind of urgencies, earthquakes, whatever, war situation. Slovenia is in a state of chaos, is drowning in crime. And I did my best to portray one publicly. This is located on European continent. 
It is an independent country, which is even inside of the European Union. It's a European Union member state. And I deem for such situation, because I always was motivated in NATO, European Union, for one, to be a prime issue, basically issue of a paramount importance for investigation, for the thorough police investigation. We have a problem. We are located inside of the European Union. We are a European Union member state. It's a wealthy country and is on the same track as to what Joseph Stalin was. We are inside of the European Union. We, you could call us a Kaliningrad number two. And I'm inquiring about this assistance during what you see is war in Ukraine, or I should say on Ukraine. And unless you do want to continue with this against me as a native of this country, because silence is agreement to this, and your politicians, such as Angela Merkel, British royals, had absolutely everything to do with this. They didn't stop, they didn't care. In fact, they betrayed those whose lives instead were thrown at stake. Uh, talking about myself, who lost basically childhood my life on ideals such as European Union and NATO unless you want to continue with what should have never ever even taken place but it did because of your politicians do get involved in it I'm not going to use the word please because it's your job. If not your duty, it's your job. If you don't understand the importance of principles that apply to the civilized society, it's your job. There is nothing else here for me left other than to resort myself to the audio recording, which goes to the April 13 of 2023 when I visit my father. And I'm going to use this opportunity to translate you first. I'm going to demonstrate you how I met the nurse at the entrance in respect to COVID. I want to make sure that you understand that. COVID apparently appeared in at this home for elderly people, not on the floor of my father, but on the floor on the first floor, uh, two floors below. In as early as on August uh, 13, 2023, it would, however, not spread into other departments. It is, however, very interesting to note. If I can get this, yeah, um, what I will do is uh, I have to expand the claim in respect to COVID. So, uh, to teach you a little bit Slovenian language here, there is um, infection with a COVID virus that appeared. This was the first thing that it that appeared, this paper here, this one here. Okay, so there is an infection. This appeared on August the 13th, 2023. Um, and specifically the police 
brainwash me further with the nursing staff into if I see this, it would be seen maybe, maybe 50 50. If everything was based on what you will write on your blog, what you will write on your blog, what you will write, don't write anything against Putin. Don't write anything against, uh, don't write anything about the Yansha, Yanis Yansha. Don't write anything against Loise Peterle. Don't write anything against this politician. Don't write anything about that. Um, too damn fucking bad. This is a political case. If I end up listening to this demented house here, if I would just probably put myself out of the misery, there will be nothing else to write about. This is a political case. I, I think these people, this home for elderly people, the management, I think they're not quite okay. Like, this management is semi-retarded. The violence inside of this home, which is home for elderly people, exercise on me as some precedent. I found myself tied to the bed with a psychiatrist, Peter Kops, who preliminary would threaten me with a torture. And then with a tube pushed down my nose, scratching my throat, as to which was used to feed me, without giving me the water, water my throat at least, and was used to scratch my throat to cause pain, cuts in my throat, and so on and so forth. And basically what we used further to, instead of physically engage against me due to violence they continue to enforce against me, they would start to threaten me that if I would defend myself, whatever I would do, I would again find myself inside of the home for elderly people, tied to the bed and tortured inside. And they did so. They did this stuff like this. This is what this was used. This is what this was. So that I would go and I would actually stop talking about Milan Kuchan, about Borut Pahor, who visited this place with Golovic, with Gregor Golovic and all these politicians, with the Zora Yankovic, they would be coming down here with the psychiatrists and stuff like this from Ljubljana. It's, it's your, this is like crazy, I mean. That's basically what the fuck I do. This is what this is. This is what this case is about. The next stage, which the nursing management of this home for elderly with the psychiatrist staff and investigators with everybody started to brainwash, massage during empty ultra wars. If you will, however, see sign like this it would mean it is over with your father it's a dead it's a dead now to give you a little bit more lesson on slovenian language it means there will be more uh, infections yeah so there's no more about single infection but is about infections yeah so this is basically what i managed to video record uh, yesterday on the 17th, on the August the 17th, therefore, uh, four days after it expanded to many, many appears like in this department uh, infections. Uh, and upon my uh, departure from yesterday from uh, the building, you're also going to hear me. Uh, I will do my best in the next recording because this one is now already very long. This is the, the fucking explanation. I need, this, I need to give the explanation so people will understand this, what I spent the last three years on in respect to my father. What this shit was all about. Uh, the nurse have stated that the COVID is, uh, is, is uh, 
did not expand anywhere and the COVID is already like in a state that doesn't even exist. Um, that they managed to suppress COVID entirely. Yeah. So this is basically two, two floors down and this is what they molested me with during MKO. This was molestation that I had to endure during MK Ultra in respect to COVID. This stuff here. COVID 10 was involved in MK Ultra, what we become a crown virus, virus was involved in MK Ultra since, I don't know, 2000. They contemplated on this virus. They played with many viruses, not only with the COVID, and they were choosing the virus, which would be the virus they would use to control the opposition, to imp implement their, if you like, the world order, wherever you want to say this. Look, I don't give a fuck. Uh, I'm not interested in it. If people are not interested, I'm not interested. I don't care about COVID is not going to pay my bills. Uh, COVID didn't pay my bills. Uh, it just explains the character of Slovenia where the COVID was born. Um, country which did not hesitate before one uh, eventually even came to life to use one to that threatened me with, or I should say position itself, this faceless little nation used COVID to hide behind such issues so that it would uh, prove of, maybe prove that I'm a paranoid schizophrenic, something like this, which I think it's a little bit too late for Slovenia. Uh, there's something terribly rotten about this <clears throat> fuckhole known as a Slovenia because I have proven my case about existence of anti with number of issues which I have listed on my website. Clearly that I pointed out, you have a here stuff I place down here, right here, you have million proofs about what I listed as proofs here. If you click here, you have, I don't know how many proofs about MK Ultra that nobody can deny. This is just some of the few I have to update and it's gonna be another hundred at least listed here, if you like that. I think I worked very, very hard to actually, with the physical proofs, prove existence of MK Ultra case that it can be denied. So how the Slovenia went ahead and have hidden his shit face behind my father, basically, uh, in respect to COVID, this is this is just unbelievable. It's like what the fuck is Slovenia trying to? use my case, my MK Ultra case, to prove that there was some kind of a COVID-19 uh, conspiracy that went on, or what is Slovenia trying to prove that, uh, what are they trying to make more money out of it? They try to sell me for more money to, to who's going to pay? British, Indians are going to be Chinese, or from India they're going to pay? Because COVID took enormous number of lives so what are you trying to now i'm asking china india united states western europe what are you trying to present slovenia as a as a country that is actually not a faceless nation to the world for my case or what because i don't give a fuck about one i gotta be honest with it slovenia is exactly what i stated in this video and it never is going to be more I'm not interested in the fucking politic. I never wanted to have absolutely anything to do with the politic. 
I just became a hostage. I became a hostage of Slovenian character, of malicious, treacherous, murderous character. From what is I know of, for me, since I was born, this was Kaliningrad number two. There was no Slovenia, based on my knowledge. Based on what I see, this country is, is this nation is, this is the most murderous, malicious, backstabbing nation. Human DNA that ever existed in the history of this planet. I'm a living proof of this. I am a, I am a mirror of this nation, of what, how far they could go. And for based on my knowledge, the Russians are not going to liberate anybody from COVID-19 conspiracy theories because they killed, they probably really killed a good number of people in Russia so that Putin would have more power. And even if he would, I am unwilling to stand up for Slovenia in absolutely any, any sense. So this kind of stuff here that you see here, this kind of stuff, this, this shit here, my father is doing a hell of a job to get me killed, if nothing else. Obviously, the man is trying to get me back into the psychiatric hospital with absolutely everything he has. He seems like, like a bag of problem, like a rotten shit corpse, thinking over there, 91 years old, thinking with more and more crime against me. That's what apparently is what the case is with my father, with my 91-year-old father. It appears to me that uh, he decided he's going to take me downhill with him or something like this, which he dreamed about also during Antioch, that he's going to, if nothing else, that he will be capable to drag me down along with him. So this is my father. This is my father. He's 91 years old. And quite frankly, the way I feel about this, he is crazy. He's demented. He's insane. And in a way, as I demonstrated here, he has a reason to be crazy. You know, if you're in a situation like this and they start to do the stuff like this to you and, you know, rather than assisting your own son, rather than helping him out, you are mentally ill, you will take the side against your son. You will start to see yourself as a victim. My father is a little fuck, crazy as he gets. And this is as far as psychiatrist Peter Kopsch managed to get. The local celebrity. This is what makes the man big in this world. If you want to know what makes the man big in this world, this. This here. This. That's why I said Slovenia is a hazard. Slovenia is dangerous and is a threat to humanity. It's people, the people of Slovenia are a threat, the biggest hazard in this world to humanity. They're dangerous. The existence of Slovenian state, the existence of Slovenian nation is a threat, the biggest threat to humanity. This. This is what makes the man big. You know? The understanding of the schizophrenia. Yeah. And what is the schizophrenia? You know what this guy is? This is a fucking classic butcher from Joseph Stalin. Yeah. And this is basically, this is, this is what this is. If I go to this audio here, let me see. This is a two hours and 32 minutes long garbage. I am going to do this here.
don't quite get uh, why uh, I would amplify and get this kind of number. I don't understand. Okay, because it's reducing. All right, let's go. So the first stage is going to be the nurse. We have a COVID-19, and you know, you know what the fuck I'm doing right now? You know what the fuck I'm doing next to wasting my time, my life? Bailing, 91-year-old criminal out of the shit that he cooked, and getting myself actually in a problems, because I'm actually claiming that COVID-19 existed already way before. The first stage is going to be acknowledging of the COVID-19 on the ground, basically, ground floor. The second stage I'm going to do is, you're going to hear me, I'm going to translate you the conversation between me and between the female nurse. The, the third thing I'm going to do is I'm going to translate you a video where I have a male nurse saying to me also, something that he shouldn't have, that my father is violent. Uh, basically, it's how he, yeah, well, I mean, he's not saying anything. He's just basically saying that um, suggesting that it was a nurse, obviously, that handled my father due to basically his blaming father for uh, being violent, uh, or I should say, apologizing, physical force on father uh, due to his resistance, what he even causes violence. Um, something that does not really apologize, uh, even if the father would have a problem with, even if he would be violent, let's say, this kind of treatment would not apologize uh, anything, basically. This is, you have a workers that uh, do have a tendency to to handle the situation like this. You just have workers like this sent to examination, to psychologists to examine them uh, thoroughly and probably uh, absolutely actually find work in another profession. No, there is no excuse for uh, something that you have seen on a video. Uh, and if it would not be involved in any other scenario, I heavily would condemn that. Uh, but because it's involved in any other scenario, this is actually a crime. It's it's a serious crime, it's a serious offense to harm yourself with intention to, uh, you know, it's a serious crime, actually. Now we should verse Yes. 
Okay, that's all we're going to do. Um, here I got already the information for the COVID done. So therefore, as I enter, um, as I enter the building, um, we have this stuff here, COVID, this stuff here. Uh, there is nothing yet. So I'm going to put the, here, I'm going to put the date and time. We got to put this stuff down here like this. We're going to do this here. This was locked a single patient. Yeah, single patient, single, single COVID, uh, August the 13th, 2023. And then when I returned here, uh, they have had another paper. You see, the paper that I demonstrated you is located here in this area. As I returned uh, on, as I returned on, uh, or you can make bigger than this on a 17 August the 17 they have 
expanded the previous warning also unto this year. So, from, from one to several cases of the COVID, yeah? From one to several cases of the COVID. Um, well, listen up. Um, this individual was dreaming about other stuff too. He was dreaming with the Slovenian police and with the Yanko on how they would come out also even as a hero, that they would prove uh, the COVID was a conspiracy and that kind of stuff through using my case and this kind of stuff. Um, basically buying the self immunity and so on. Uh, this is not going to happen. If the governments design these people to do it this way, to do it like that, I don't know anything about this stuff, but uh, I never ever will allow any of this stuff. This is not his jurisdiction. Uh, this is a criminal, and this is the worst kind of criminal that possibly can be a criminal. Uh, whoever is going to investigate this He's going to investigate nothing other than the stuff that I talked about. You as a politician, you can create all kinds of lies. You can even claim that all this stuff have happened for a good reason, even maybe to help me, which they attempted to do so. But uh, it's going to be up to me to see these things as on how I am going to see these things as. None of that stuff is acceptable. This is this is a garbage of the worst kind. Uh, obviously, my father, I have to admit this, have uh, proven himself as extremely, extremely efficient criminal. This, his uh, conduct is extremely, extremely criminal. This is like, <clears throat> look what fucking time it is. Look what the fuck I'm doing to meet my ends. I mean, this guy really caused so much damage to me that is unprecedented. This father of mine, this, this man drove me fucking mad. He pushed me across the edge more times than what I can count. And he is killing me, dude. He is killing me literally for the killers here, for novelists, for the police, for the psychiatrist, for the people who butchered him, 
made him blind. People who made careers, money, wealth, and you have no idea what kind of wealth. He is fucking laid down over there on the bed like an accident and acting. <laughs> and taking me down the hill with him. I'm doing a moon barking right now. It's a guy who stops, sleeps like a baby. And so do these criminals from police. I'm coming with this theories about the COVID-19. I rather should have nothing to do with it. For what I'm doing this? For the love of my father, who put me inside a psychiatric hospital in 2015. I was doing it for the love of my father. I am just doing it because I have to close this case. This case has got to be plain, simple out with proven facts about everything about what went on during MKR trial. They told me during MKR trial it's going to be the hardest, it's going to be the end to put this shit together. Well, it is, but I understand the importance of it. I understand the importance of the last three years I have gone through. I have to summarize one, put one with a signature on it, finish the whole thing, sort it out, and put my father at the place. In a category of the people with proofs as per what... He claimed me that he's going to die and this and that soon after that and this and that. Uh, you ain't going to fucking die anywhere, man. Uh, I am going to find you. I will use the police to get on your tail to get you, basically. Uh, you are just a fucking accident. Uh, catastrophe is what you are, my dear father. And mm -hmm. well, when I listen him over there, <laughs> you know, if you look four days later, he looks way more normal. Because I didn't bite, you know, I didn't bite his trap, you know, I wrote it down here. Uh, clearly, I wrote it down. I did not satisfy his thirst to write down about the stuff. They have even video recorded me next to the bed inside of this home for elderly people where the father was on a several occasions having father on that bed explaining me about the nail marks, assuring me even that there would be no infection involved in it. These people, these very people. And I'm going to fucking go and say, you know, they're abusing my father. They're doing this and they're doing that to my father. Sorry, I can't do this. My father have sold himself to other people before he orchestrated this. And thanks God, I remember what he did. Sometimes there is things I do not even remember. I'm sure there were, but this one I do. And for my saying that somebody abused him so that I would trigger investigation, which would be by the state prepared process, Slovenian state prepared ahead process, political process. Sorry, I, I'm not interested in that. He, 
he can't say anything, he's poor, he is, you know. Um, so I video record his stuff. You're gonna see, I'm gonna put the videos below with the dates on it. Then I go and I go talk to nurse and that's what makes uh, the point, the whole thing. So what I am going to do is I'm just going to go ahead like this. Let me see this here. Three hours, uh, 10, 11. Okay, okay. It was at least this here, probably. I would say I should be all right. We're going to do it like this. We're going to copy this stuff here. And we're going to add this stuff. And this is going to be available as a proof below. We're going to copy paste this stuff down here to this section. This is going to be the section for August the 13th of uh, 2023. Okay. So I say the nurse, the lady, I say to her, hi, how are you today? I wish you a good day. She says, good day. So we're talking about August the 13th, 2023. I go, I see the father, I see he's got those nails, injury. I go to the nurse. I ask the nurse what's going on with this. Yeah, Okay, when I ask her about the injury he does have on the left arm, the female nurse says he's got a very sensitive skin. Uh, it's nothing. Yeah, I asked her, I'm, I'm surprised with the answer, but this is rehearsal of MK Ultra. I get exactly the same answer I got from her with MK Ultra. I said, I said to her, Really, I, I'm like, really, his skin is cracking because here, in this part, because it's sensitive. And he says, in any part of the body, in any part of the body, it's normal. Okay, let me ask for a specific question. I said, please, uh, I'm going to ask one more time, please tell me this specifically, I'm going to ask you. I said, I, I, I said, you're saying that it's the skin that is like this, this kind of stuff that he has, this injury that he has, it's, they happen on it on their own, that this is just something that, that just happens on its own. Uh, she is saying it's a blood, uh, like a little, uh, Capillar, né? Capillar. Uh, 
uh, he is saying, in other words, that what I saw over there as an injury, uh, that it would be something I see on his hands that is not very, I don't know how to say capillar. You know? The picture that I had a little earlier was actually the right picture that I demonstrated here. Let me see that. Um, yeah, okay. So that basically, uh, let me see something here. That's certain. I had never heard about that one before, but it is. Let's see if I can find something better. Uh, I see there's a whole set of uh, all kinds of problems with this. Well, probably the closest I can get is this stuff here, this image. That this is basically why he's got these injuries. That this is this is this is normal thing. It's nothing. Uh, it's a skin age. That this is what exploded. Yeah. That this is what this is. Yeah. And it can be anywhere in the body. Yeah. Well, except that clearly, as I was demonstrated, also the case is going to be this is not. This is not it. You can clearly see that this are cuts, it's nails. Uh, right here, it's actually even got. Uh, it even got. It's it's actually even nasty. Yeah, I have to go see father to get update about what is going on here with this stuff here. This is actually even infection here. I see for which they guaranteed there will be no infection. Clearly, these are nails. You can see it. In Slovenian language, you say to this pot plut by, yeah? Obviously, that uh, um, this 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 police director is is obviously that 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 something is terribly wrong with these people. You know, it, it appears to me. I I understand. Listen, I get it. I get it, but but with what you have done here in this case, is you you so you so breach your authorities. You 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 don't, you know. That's why I'm asking international police. I'm asking international police association, Interpol, everything, whatever it's all about. Listen, uh, these people have so gone. Uh, you know. This, the stuff that I earlier mentioned that applies to, to the civilized world, you know, uh, do it. Uh, this is stuff that does not apply to the civilized world. Um, the, I am, I'm actually, I'm quite speechless about this, and I'm not going to dedicate more brain to this stuff than what I already did. Uh, if anything, uh, my father needs to answer a few questions, which I'm very certain he's not going to even have a difficulty to answer. Um, I feel that in respect to this portion of the crime against me, he went far too far with it to assist this garbage here that you see right there, all of which tortured me. Every one of these people was involved in it. Every one of these people tortured. So other than his response to the police, if he doesn't want to give me, if he doesn't want to talk to me, I don't expect from him, you know, please, if you're in a law enforcement agency, you do your fucking work. I already wasted my entire life on this. Please don't waste more of my time. That's what this guy's right there. That's an insult for my face, if anything. 
pa peček iz zemče, ko se, ko se tako odjela. Se vidite, ko zgleda. Ko, ko zgleda. Pa ta, ta bolezen imenuje. Ajde, pa ne, to pa ne vem. To pa to, ker se na to morate prezmjoli. To, 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 to moram vam te stvari. Ampak ne mora reči, to so to te so take stvari, koža, ja. ki so spet po cajtarno, pa bo zdaj nekaj cajt v redu, pa pa spet ne nekaj se tako narejo tudi splekec, kako se pa potlej. To ni, to ni, veste kaj je, to ni flekec, da, ampak on ima tale prav, sem videl, en tak velik flajšter čez. Ja, ja, ja. Pa ima pa na zgornem delu, ker je zelo, zelo, ne vem, kako bi se najmo to lahko zgodilo. To se ti lahko samo zgodi, če se nekam udaveš, če se nekam udrgneš, ali kaj tazga. Ampak vi pravite, da tu je samo ne, ne, sebe prošlo. Ne, ne, sprava, jaz, jaz mu nisem nič narediram. Ne znam, krivo more, ker vam špizit. A vedi kako, vedi kako je to. Ja. Tudi, ko ga slačeš, se mi ga vede, kaj naredi, se ga ne bade... Uh, she said, the nurse stated to me that this is... She even mentioned some kind of disease. And when I ask her, could you please tell me what kind of disease this is? Yes, because I had no idea. But it appears like even that there is some kind of diseases that exist out there and the earlier i stated to you is that during mk ultra they have done this to the father already before my father stuff that you have seen right there this was the stuff that was done to my father now there is a possibility that my father does have certain disease uh -huh. you see uh -huh. when this individual here started to insist to me in front of me that he wants this very nurse to investigate the department all other nursing departments and she reported him back right in front of me the list of the incidents for which he continued that he already had chosen particular uh, incident therefore um injury to be implemented on the father something is telling me that my father does have likely a disease that he does have likely dermatology problem which they repeatedly used uh, to develop one uh, into a situation so that it could be easily triggered again in the future something similar to what was done to me except that father hope he will profit from within and will portray me really as a schizophrenic as a paranoid on behalf of slovenian state with assistance of the police now at this degree at this point i actually even believe that my father does have a skin condition and for that matter what i will do i will have this personally further investigated through his doctors and we're going to go forward with more proofs whichever way that's going to take us yeah now i have to find out what exactly is going on does he have some kind of a specific uh, problem or something like this or was this done uh physically to him yeah uh yeah you know uh when it comes to my father and my mother, you don't know anything about this stuff because when this, when stuff like this, you go and you say, uh, yes, you would excuse me because I explained how I came to believe that it was nails, that it was a nail marks that were used on my father. But because she mentioned the disease, and I asked her what kind of disease and did not even give me the answer about what kind of disease. And I see here that people, there is actually some kind of diseases that even exist and so on and so forth. I am going to be very cautious about this and we'll talk to the doctor, we'll talk to physician about it to learn more about this stuff. I think this again smells on something else here. Even that to me and i don't know about you but when you see these marks here when you see this stuff here uh this does look like nails this does look to what i was told the case would be yeah um 
This was the conversation with the nurse. Aha, yeah, 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 yeah. Még mondal bájom a tlalasabinka de zaknera cima la ko ker napcitliva ta takva kozo. Rozumete? He's got a very sensitive skin, she says, because he's got a very sensitive skin, you know. Yeah, Razuma. She says, if you think that my theory is not uh, acceptable, she probably was going to say, you can go to a physician and talk to one and this and that. Uh, well, you know, I, I, I'm not here for the theories. Um, frankly, uh, this is a registered nurse. I would expect her to know exactly, uh, basically get the answer about what this is all about. That's one thing. And the second thing is, it's a very sensitive subject. It's my father. He's got this marks. Uh, injury. If you want to say injury, okay, injury. Whatever it is, they're not marks. Uh, whichever way you want to take this. Uh, but it is a sensitive subject. It's the kind of stuff that oftentimes happens uh, at home for elderly people. And when I say this, uh, it's not only a disease, the possibility of it, but it's also possible a physical uh, handling of a patient, of the elderly person. It's also possible. It's all kinds of stuff that goes on inside of this home for elderly people. You have to admit, there's also abuse of people inside of the homes for elderly people in the facilities where the people are being taken care of. Because people, workers, do have their own issues too. I mean, it's a humane thing. And, you know, I'm not saying anything. Especially it triggered my attention because this was the bed on which I alone was tortured. This place is not a place of the St. Mary's Nativity Church or something like this. This bed where my father is lying, this is the bed where hope for elderly people had me tied onto and have tortured in that home. <laughs> on that bed. Većina ljudi pa je to zame, ker u vedomovih pogosta se dogajajo težke zlorabe, v tem domu tukaj so se težke zlorabe dogajajo. Tako da, tako na vašem modelu, kot tiste so obitelni, tako naprej. To so stvari že, ki so se dogajajo. A dejte, da govoriš te stvari, ker pogajte kaj, kaj kakšne stvari so se dogajajo. She doesn't want to hear anything about when I suggest that at your department, things already happened that shouldn't. It was already very heavy violations that took place in your department. It's my job to actually ask. It's my father and so on and so forth. She says, no, no, no. No, I just asked you to ask you to be informative, to be to be to be to be to be to uh, we work with the people with all due respect, with everything we possibly can, and so on and so forth. She's lying, okay? She was involved in MKUltra, she was also involved in torture, and really does not have the right to answer to me like this, but I get it. She answers to like this, and let's go. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Okay, so that's basically it as far as I had to report about this stuff here. Doom, we're gonna do it like this. Doom.
move them. We're gonna go like this, and I'm gonna have this stuff erased. This is nothing other I have. I would report. I got nothing else. You're gonna see this is gonna be marked as the 13. I'm gonna put this like original audios. Uh, and what I also wanna include for the 13, maybe is this here. This was on the 17, we're gonna go to the 13, which is this one here. And then I really don't have anything else I would say here in respect to this stuff here. Okay. Whichever way that was. Um, so it's probably going to be this one here. So the nurse comes. Now, oh, this is a male nurse. And I also asked Kim about this. This is the same evening on August the 13th, 2023. The female nurse tells me about that father had, uh, she mentions even some kind of a medical condition, but she doesn't know what kind of medical condition, what the name for this medical condition would be. Um, clearly, marks can be seen on his hand. Okay. If they say so, okay, we go along with it. By now, what I stated here, if somehow it's going to happen that this, in fact, is some kind of a dermatological problem, that something is uh, that father does have, uh, my father's crime become totally inexcusable. This is a mindless, ruthless machine right there. Uh, lying in bed with idea to kill. Using something he started against me in 2013. Yeah? If that's basically psychiatry. If he does have a, a condition dermatological condition, then I am also going to take whatever it takes uh, to get him where his place is like way overdue. You was in yeah, yeah. I cannot imagine that you would have somebody that would come like this to help you, to see you, to make sure that you're doing well after you screw his life up. Uh, and you would be lying right there and getting yourself into some kind of world of the stuff like this with idea to screw an individual. That shit I can possibly not believe. If that's the case, my father is going to have a lot, a lot of problems because he is acting like stupid. He is acting poor. He is acting demented. He is acting hard. But inside of his mind, he is as sharp as he gets. Uh, he's totally sharp. He's totally sober. Uh, he is displaying the signs of stroke. However, as I stated, this is a repetition of MK Ultra. Uh, so I'm playing my dear loving father the films right there about the fishing and the nurse, a male nurse also was involved in MK Ultra. Uh, this is also a nurse 
who participated in MK Ultra since I don't know. I really don't know, but I picture this nurse like sometimes like since 2000 and, uh, 2005, I would say. The nurse is not uh, I don't picture this nurse as long as Yanko or another person who also worked at this department and have changed department for another department. Um, so for me so far, this nurse that I see one, um, I can go to 2005. He's gonna fit the father through the tube. super. Okay, so this uh, nurse here uh, gives me a different information. This nurse gives me information that uh, he doesn't know about this case, but uh, at times in the mornings, he is very aggressive and is uh, punching with his hands, uh, hitting with the hands. In Lakuda, Kamodaru, uh, it's possible he's saying that he hit somewhere in something. Uh, now, when it comes to this nurse, uh, this nurse witnessed the stuff I'm talking about. This nurse has witnessed the stuff I'm talking about already before. Um, And I should just stop here. I'm not going to make any kind of judgments, of course. You see, the issues we're dealing with here, it's like walking in a circle, in a fucking circle, and you don't get anywhere, right? Uh, if you don't, if you tie him to the bed, uh, he, father will not like it, yeah? Uh, if you um, if you see the stuff that I see right there, it's the stuff that it's got to make you wonder if you care about your parent. Um, when you ask the question, clear question about what this is, what's happening with this stuff? The answer you don't get, you get indicated a possibility such as disease. Um, when you ask another nurse about what this could possibly be, she tells you about father being aggressive, uh, which still, even if he would be aggressive again, it doesn't apologize those marks right there in the hand. Um, we're like in a fucking magic circle here circling and circling and circling without getting any kind of answers, anything. And we have a person over there who already have gone through that stuff, acting that doesn't know anything, 
uh, that is totally demented and so on and so forth. This is uh, this is a fucking Ljubljana poly, a psychiatric hospital bullshit. Uh, it, it's just really clearly this is a violence. But this violence is a violence against me. It is a continuation of the violence of Slovenian state, which just is trying to apologize and ultra violence against me with, well, to me, it appears like he is threatening me basically with a psychiatric hospital with what you see right now. Basically, using a parent through the situation like this. So, um, a nurse is saying that that oftentimes the father fists with his fist, and he hits himself here and there into something and so on. Um, sorry, again, during MK Ultra, I was even demonstrated how they squeeze the nails into uh into his uh uh into his uh into his skin well, which they claim me is not even much is not necessary it's just a little force is necessary for that stuff i don't know that his skin is so fragile Whichever the way the theory is, this is no good. I mean, so the nurse explained uh, his vision of it, what possible this he indicated. Um, um, you know, if if um, I don't know what I would say about this stuff, because father is just completely non-responsive he's just laying there uh and is playing a victim you know uh, once i have written down on a page that it was the stuff involved in mk ultra uh i did so on the August the 14, 2023, with Luffy Police Director Jana Zogolin solicited information about incidents that relate physical injuries between uh, 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 patients, therefore residents and a nursing staff. My father became like extremely, extremely sober, serious. Uh, his posture, his attitude totally, totally, totally changed, as you were able to see. Uh, a totally different, totally changed person, not even willing to interact much with me. Um, it's okay. As I go to update the situation, uh, as I go to update the situation, uh, to see this stuff with the camera, Ah, te boli, tu ke, te boli, tu ke, tu te boli, hm, te boli tu la, tu mi boli, tu le te boli. Te boli tu la, tu mi boli. He doesn't give any kind of response. I mean, for me personally, from my point of view, this, what you see right there, this is, you were able to see the nurse, how he came and he became responsive, how polite and everything I am. You get, ah, 
and no response whatsoever. You get this, you hear, I mean, <laughs> you know. He didn't sleep when I came. I mean, look at this. He, did, he didn't sleep when I came. And yes, I have to video really record everything that is out there to, to have the evidence about what's going on. <laughs> Listen, I am going to vomit if I'm going to have to go on with this stuff because this is fucking unprecedented, this whole thing. Uh, here is what it is. This is the August the 17, 2023 for me, from my point of view. This is the case of a very, very heavy domestic violence, except that it's a 91-year-old man that is lying right there engaging in one with assistance of the police and psychiatrists. I don't know what else to say to you. Here, you got this here. Emir. Okay, no. Demir. Okay. Ne boš nič povedo, če ti kaj boli. Se te lahko dotakne, malo da vidim, kaj je. You probably got an idea about the whole thing. It's very, very, very difficult to help one. Um... The psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, this individual here, this guy here, I am, what the fuck this guy did is, is actually quite mindless stuff. Um, this is a 91-year-old man right there in the bed. Uh, clearly, mentally, something is extremely wrong with him, but the one very much deserved for this stuff is the guy that you see here. So, the local celebrity uh, psychiatrist Peter Kapsch took it to the next level. That's all I have to say. In respect to uh, my father, as I left that day, when I come to him he doesn't talk this it, it, is like um, maybe he wants to sleep okay but it doesn't look like he wants to sleep and he was awake and so on and so forth but okay um Jutro te pridem pod bedo, lahko noč. There you go, that's uh, uh, all that stuff. 
should remind me of the COVID-19 um, it's the stuff already I have discussed a little earlier in the video. Uh, this is a Mr. Kuletic, this is a roommate whom Slovenian state have used also for more of the bullshit, more of the problems. You know, what the fuck can I say? I mean, I am wasting time on a 91-year-old criminal who should be behind bars already long, long, long time ago. And this 91-year-old criminal, the extension, the tentacle Slovenian state, with my mother, with my niece, with these people around me, continue to hunt and try to portray me as a paranoid schizophrenic through my eventually paying visits, something that my father couldn't do for me to his home for elderly people with the idea to help him. This is crazy and pathetic as it gets. Mr. Koletic has a shirt which states Sola Team. Sola Team was for me solo. Me alone, me not wanting the help from people, assistance involving other people and so on and so forth. Listen, um, I do uh, enjoy, I am a social person, uh, but Slovenia uh, already helped very much. I, I have to say that Slovenia helped me already so much that uh, I hope I'm going to get one destroyed at International Criminal Court get one out of European Union, get one out of the NATO, uh, destroy one at the United Nations before United Nations have a humanity and knowledge one as an ultimate evil in this world. I, I think this is a nation, DNA, human DNA is evil about the fuck as it gets. No, this is too much. Uh, the World War II lasted for five years. My struggle goes on for 49 years. This nation desperately tried to suffocate me, strangled me for 49 years. And this man right there is wearing the shirt which says solo team, basically. That's a bullshit. Here's a time and date. Today is August the 19th already, and it's going into the three in the morning. It's right now, in fact, 0 to 37 hours in the morning. And I spent just right now, again, with my father, no less than three hours and 35 minutes. Most of the people would not be willing for their parents anywhere near, even if their parents were normal parents. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time.